Hello everyone, in today's video I am going to show you both of the low and high sensitivity settings, the pros, the cons and the comparison between them. Until the end of the video we will find out which one is better. Before starting please leave a like and subscribe with the notifications on. Firstly we are going to start with the high sensitivity. I am going to use the highest sensitivity I have ever used which is this one. You probably noticed this. The aim acceleration is very low or non-existent. You don't need an acceleration for your high sensitivity because it's useless. Some use a good high sensitivity and find that they need a little more for a full 360 in an easy motion to do. So they add up to that sensitivity a 10 to 20 aim acceleration or even lower. The pros of the high sensitivity. It's really good for single bullet guns. Let me explain. The snipers, the shotguns are single bullet guns because they take a huge time after shooting to get to the next bullet. The guns are not automatic like the ARs, the SMGs and the pistols. You can add up to the list the MR96 pistol because it's the first and least pistol that takes a pose after each bullet. Easier flicks. This is obvious and it doesn't take much to explain because it's word explanatory. With higher sensitivity it's way more easier to flick with doing the same motion than the low sensitivity. Easier movement for new players. If you don't know how to move to your target in the right way, these settings can help you because you have much more flexibility horizontally and vertically. Good bullet shots when flicking. When you flick on high sensitivity you just move from left to right and that is helping you hitting the player on the way there. Let me give you an example. Two players are here, one is in front of you, you kill the first one and when you go to the other player you aren't missing all the frames like the low sensitivity players because the low sensitivity players usually have a higher aim acceleration for their flicks needs and that is keeping frames instantly but that's not always the case. The cons of the high sensitivity, bad aim. With the high sensitivity it's much more harder to control the recoil and it takes more unnecessary effort. You miss more shots. Inevitably you miss more shots vertically and horizontally because you don't have the stability of a low sense player. Not good in high stress moments. When you are in a rank and you don't know how to manage your stress levels like the pros, the high sensitivity is not helping you. The most cases players do this flick after they die or can't control the recoil when going from one opponent to another in a short period of time. Useless in most cases. In most cases you need a low sensitivity or a mid one that fits your gameplay because you don't have the stability, precision and you can't focus correctly like the players that use low sensitivity. Let me explain. When you have a low sensitivity you know you can't move fastly horizontally and that's why you are more focused on the portion of screen you see. When the high sensitivity players may move weirdly from left to right looking everywhere because they have the support of high sensitivity you know but it's not helping them always. Now let's move on to the low sensitivity settings. You usually see an X sensitivity lower than 3. These are my settings and as you can see I have a lower sensitivity vertically and horizontally but my aim acceleration is pretty high. Some people that include me need some boost to their sensitivity because it is helping them while flicking and doing 180s to see their back in a short period of time. The vertical aim on high sensitivity it's useless. You are not going to move your aim to the sky because players do not fly. They are usually on a short or medium distance vertically. On maps like Grounded and Bureau you don't need to use a very high sensitivity vertically because you don't have heights that you can't reach fastly enough. On maps like Ride or Port you may find that you need an increase in your vertical sensitivity but that doesn't imply to use a dumb high vertical aim. Let's begin with the pros of the low sensitivity. A lot of stability and precision. On low sensitivity you have the stability of a non-flicky aim every time. That helps both of these in your matches. 
good aim. You can have a way better aim even without straining on a low sensitivity because it's way more comfortable for the contrary recoil. When you shoot with the AK for example, you need to do the contrary of the gun default recoil. And if you have a high sensitivity, you put way more unnecessary effort to contrary the recoil of a gun with a higher sensitivity. Intelligent gameplay. What I mean about this one is that a low sensitivity uses the exact sense it needs for a good game sense and not more in a surplus. Faster flicks. When a low sense player uses aim acceleration, he can do stuff like this. He can instantly flick, which is way more time efficient in matches and in their gameplay. A high sensitivity player may do this while flicking, which gives an advantage again on the stability of the low sense player. Any of the cons in the high sensitivity settings are solved by the advantages of the low sense. Cons of a low sensitivity Bad flicks if you don't have a good aim acceleration that is not perfect for your gameplay style, then you may interfere with wrong movements that do not help you. The low sense doesn't have a lot of specific cones of the settings because are a good way to improve your gameplay and the only disadvantage that may be is that if you don't use aim acceleration, you need to do this. If you have 10% aim acceleration on low sense and you don't think you need more, maybe after this example you change your mind. You lose more time and it's harder to move into flicks if you don't have a good sensitivity coupled with the help of an aim accelerator. In the end, the choice is yours. You can use a high sensitivity, you can use a low sensitivity. If your gameplay is good enough, even without aim acceleration on low sensitivity, then you're good to go. The only goal we have in mind after changing our settings, sensitivities, crosshair sizes, is to get better in the game. That's it for this video, hope it helps you and subscribe with the notifications on. Bye!